Welcome to part six of this series. Earlier, I showed you how to use the difference of a path to create complex objects. Now I'm going to show you how to use the text tool to create and edit text, manipulate it to travel along a path, and the additional, take a look at the additional path menu options. Also show you how to use the spell checker and cover a little bit on clipping and masking. How would you incorporate this into your projects, what to expect and what this actually does. Let's begin by adding some text. For this, you would just select the text tool and like any program you work with with uh, Adobe, you would simply click where you want to insert your text and type in your content. You can adjust the font family by selecting from the drop down menu, or you could also type in the name of a font and select it if you happen to know the name of it already. You can adjust the font size. You can modify its styled properly, properties depending on which, which uh, family you're working with. You can adjust where the text is aligned as well as set it up a few additional other properties. Uh, the graphics here explain a fair bit what to expect. So superscript would make the text smaller and move it up and the su subscript would make the text smaller and move it below the line somewhat. For the purposes of this, I'm going to go ahead and adjust just a few of these properties. Primarily the rotation of this first part, moving it in and I'm moving it the other way for the second part. You can adjust the color individually by selecting it and you can also adjust the distance between letters by increasing this value and you can adjust the distance between words where you have a space. I'm going to go ahead and exaggerate this so you can see the effect that would have. There are additional properties here which you can look into. These are just the ones I'm going to adjust for the purposes of this demonstration. To ensure that this travels along a path and does not follow the str a straight line, you would simply create a path with no effect and select both of the options, both of the objects. For this, you would simply select put on path and at this point you can adjust the path to however you need it to travel. Like so. You can play around with this uh, to get it to flow correctly. For now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Similarly, I did this and just it, it flowed nicely underneath. In this case, it's flowing. I might actually. If you're missing letters, it's because the path has reached its conclusion. In that case, you would simply make the path longer and drag it. like so, to get the final letters to appear. Mm. 
to spell check, you would enter the text menu and select the check spelling option. At this point, it'll go through all its suggestions of what it wants you to change and highlight the object in red. You can ignore a lot of these options. So you can see there, it did pass through that one. Uh, it went a little bit too quickly. I would have had the option to change that at that point. You just have to go through this slowly and it will and it will let you modify. At this point, it's giving me the option to adjust this to the to these variations of spelling. I want it to say division. You click accept and any changes are made directly to your project. Taking a look at the division and intersection tool now. I'm going to use these two objects and I'm just going to select both of them like I did with the difference and intersection. For this, you may need to have a stroke outline in order to see any effects. I'm going to zoom in so you can see better and select the path path division tool. If you look at the description here, it says cut the bottom pieces into paths versus the cut path, which will remove the stroke, well, which will remove the fill actually from this. Can click off of it, remove the piece, and there you have a piece cut out from your path. It essentially chops the bottom path following this outline or whatever intersects it. You would do the same thing, path, cut path, and you would not notice too much different here. If uh, you would actually think it did, didn't do anything because it has removed the fill color and if you did not have a stroke, you would not actually see anything here right now. You can, so, but if you select this portion, you will see that it actually cut that part of the path out based on this little section of the outline. This is a bit different to division and intersection, but it is similar. Again, you have a similar effect where that section of the intersection is cut out. It maintains its fill and its path color, and you could delete this if you no longer need this object anymore. Versus intersection, which just takes what's overlapped, which I demonstrated before, but those are just some of the differences between division, intersection, and cut path and how you might work with it. Cut path, just again, make sure you have the, the stroke color set up. So shift click one of these colors when you select the bottom object, just so you can see the effect if you have it set to none at this point.